Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So some interesting news coming out in regards to Sergei Kovalev and his future. His trainer Buddy McGirt has confirmed that Sergei Kovalev will actually be moving up to cruiserweight when he returns. And they intend Kovalev to come in no heavier than 185 pounds and they are confident he can beat 200 pounders in the cruiserweight division. Now from what I've heard, Kovalev is scheduled to return sometime in the late spring, you know, kind of like April, May, that's what I've heard. Again, that's yet to be finalised, so we'll see what happens with that. But in regards to Sergei Kovalev moving up to cruiserweight, I've got to say, I see this ending in tears. Sergei Kovalev in his day was obviously a very good fighter. At one point he was actually rated pound for pound. But these days, you know, he's seen better days. I think his chin is really deteriorating. His punch resistance is going downhill. And he's just declining as a fighter. And moving into the cruiserweight division, I don't see how that changes. Yeah, there's less of a weight cut. But these guys in the cruiserweight division are killers. The likes of Meris Briadis, Unier Dorticos, Ilunga Makabu, etc. You know, these guys are big dudes. They're basically small heavyweights who cut weight. That's what a lot of these cruiserweights are. And listen, Sergei Kovalev is no small heavyweight. He was a decent sized light heavyweight, but I just don't really see this guy having any future in the cruiserweight division. I think a lot of these guys, first and foremost, are too big, too fresh. And they are just too robust and hit far too hard for Sergei Kovalev, especially at this stage. Maybe if Kovalev tried this earlier in his career, when he was a lot younger, when he had time to actually, you know, acclimatise to the weight, maybe he could have had some success in the weight class. But at his age, late 30s, I believe he's 37, I really don't see this ending well. I mean, I'll just humour you guys. I'll look at the BoxRec top 10 in the cruiserweight division. We'll go through the names and I'll tell you who I think Sergei Kovalev can genuinely beat. Ranked number one is Meris Briadis. I honestly don't believe Kovalev has a chance. Number two is Unia Dorticos. Again, I think Dorticos is too big, too strong, too powerful. Number three is Alunga Makabu. I think Alunga Makabu against Kovalev would be a massive favourite. He's younger, he's stronger, he's bigger. He's coming off some really good form since that Bellu defeat. I would make Makabu a big favourite. At number four, you've got Fabiso Matsunu, the South African cruiserweight. Maybe Kovalev could do something against Matsunu, but again, he's a big dude himself, you know, can box and move, physically strong. That's a tough fight. Number five, we have Kevin Lorena, good fighter. Again, maybe Kovalev has a chance in that fight. But again, a really hard fight. Number six, Lawrence Okole. Listen, I don't think Lawrence Okole is a great boxer by any means. But physically, he is far too big for Sergei Kovalev. Lawrence Okole is, what, six foot five? You know, basically, again, a guy who's cutting weight from the heavyweight division. At number seven, Christoph Glowatsky. I think Glowatsky is too rugged, too powerful, too strong for Sergei Kovalev. Number nine, or number eight, sorry, you've got Noel Givor. Again, hard fight. Number nine, Riyad Mary. Maybe Kovalev could beat Mary. And number 10, you've got Arsene Goulamarian, the French cruiserweight, who's actually very good. I don't think Kovalev beats Goulamarian. So if we look at that top 10, I give Kovalev a chance against four guys. Matsunu, Lorena, Givor and Mary. But a chance doesn't necessarily mean I'm picking him. Against the rest of the guys in this division, I'm picking against Kovalev. So, I really don't envisage Kovalev having much success in the cruiserweight division. I certainly don't expect him to win a world title. I just think he's undersized. He's too old. He's past it, basically. I think this ends in tears. And if Kovalev does move up to cruiserweight, I expect to see Kovalev getting knocked out again real soon. Anyway... Share your thoughts below. What do you make of this news? Peace.